Hello! Today I'm very excited. I'm going to show you the epic parasol modification that I've been wanting to show you for a while. As far as modification projects go, this is on the longer side. You're going to be waiting for several layers of paint to dry and whatnot, but the result is so cool. I think it's worth it. Really looking forward to using mine this summer because that means I won't die in the sun. And don't worry, there'll be more footage of this baby's usage at the end of the tutorial. Joy! So here's our blank lace parasol. We're gonna cut around the end, separating the lace from it. And then we will cut down the sides to split the lace on the top of the canvas in half. The canvas is something I'm going to paint a different color than the rest of the lace. Then I'm going to take some twine and pull one side of the lace down, tying it to the rest of the parasol. I only do one side at a time because otherwise it tends to bend the ribs of the parasol too much. And I tie it down at about every rib. Take tape and tape up the end too. And you can really go with whatever color scheme you want. I'm going to be doing black and red and I'm going to make the under part of my parasol black. Get a nice double coat in there. Make sure everything's really evenly coated, especially if you have a lighter colored parasol. And get that handle too while you're at it. Now I'm going to do my under color on my canvas, which is this nice rusty red color I found. And then we're going to repeat the tie down and the painting on the other side. Once your entire canvas is painted, take newspaper and painter's tape and cover it up completely underneath the lace. You can also untie your lace from the rest of your parasol at this point as well. Make sure everything's really well covered. It looks really ugly before it looks good. Next I'm going to take a bunch of safety pins and kind of stretch the lace as far as I can back together so that when I paint the top color everything gets painted. So here I go doing my top color. Once that's dry, undo your safety pins and take all your newspaper out from under the lace. Now with a needle and thread, you're going to do the best you can to get the two ends that are split back together. No advanced sewing skill is required. As long as you can stitch, this will be fine. And it doesn't have to be perfect either. I think that having it a little bit erratic looking actually adds to the antiquated look that I'm going for. Then go ahead and paint your end. Now I'm going to take my lace trim and measure it to each section. And even if you don't find the color you like, you can also spray paint that as well. Again, you don't need to be an incredible seamstress, just some simple hand stitching will do for this. This part is optional, but however, I do believe that lace trim really completes the look. It does add about an hour of work onto your parasol. And the way you do the ends is you overlap the two sides of the lace and stitch those up together as well. Then take a little bit of Gorilla Glue, dab that under the point, and let that dry. 
I'm going to take some fabric paint and on the underside of my parasol I'm going to paint each rib white because I am going to be making this into a spider web. I think a spider web is really easy to do on the underside of a parasol since it has that same shape anyway and it's a really cute touch.